Right, this is my first assignment in 1958. In those days, uh, we never knew where we were going to go ahead of time. There were no interviews or anything like that they, they have today. They just go right into the pair. You know, you get a letter in the mail. You're assigned in for Jesus of Prague and Flossmoor. Now, I, I was in, lived at uh, 84th and Stony Island on the southeast side. I had no car, and uh, and I didn't even know where Flossmoor was. I just knew it was south, and it just seemed to be real far south, you know, at that time. So anyway, I, I, I was assigned. I came there the July 1st of 58. And uh, the rectory was over on uh, Oakmont, is it? Oakmont Avenue. And uh, Father Hills was the pastor. And we just had this small little three bedroom uh, rectory. So, but I came out here, I said I didn't have a car, so I had to borrow people's cars. I was, you know, Father Hills had a car. And when he went on vacation and so forth, I, I, I was glad he went on vacation because I got to use his car. But uh, anyway, you know, I find my, found myself, you know, walking down the street like, uh, you know, my cassock and Beretta like uh, Bing Crosby, because I was ordained in the pre-Vatican church, and uh, people were very welcoming. You know, I, you know, it was a fairly new parish as a parish. It was a mission. I didn't really understand that for a while. The school was not here when I first came. Our kids went to St. Joe's in, in Homewood. You know, I, I love the parish, uh, I love you know, the people and so forth, but I was really looking forward to the, the school being built. I, I really, uh, you know, I enjoyed working with the, with the young people. And then once the school was built, I taught in seventh and eighth grade pretty regularly. And I think that that, that first assignment, like any first assignment, I think, in, is, is a key assignment. If it goes well, it, it really gets you off on the right, right uh, step into the priesthood. And it really, you know, that first assignment because of the school particularly, because I, I began to really enjoy education. That was really the beginning of my, my whole priesthood was really in education. I, I, I taught at Quigley South for 12 years. I was a principal of high school in Tyler, Texas for eight years. And uh, I was only a pastor once, and that, that's to found the parish in Orland Hills uh, about 18 years ago. And that's the only parish that was outside of infant use of Prague. That was the only other parish I was actually pretty much directly involved in. So this first assignment was very good, and Father Hills was, was very good. You know, when I look back on it, he was a very hardworking, this serious, hardworking pastor. All of the years, we've had a, a, any number of assistants, wonderful. and there were some, some real characters, I must say. But, uh, uh, but there were wonderful men, and most of them went on to be pastors at other, but our very first assistant was Bill O'Mara, Father Bill O'Mara, who was into sports. He was a fresh out of, out, of, out, of, out of the seminary. And of course, he was into sports. And one time when Father Hills took a winter vacation, uh, Bill O'Mara got some men and they built a complete full-blown hockey rink in what is now the parking lot next to the, uh, next to the, uh, uh, next to the convent. And of course, Hills came home and about had a stroke because he felt that the last thing we needed in the bears. And the first assistant was Bill O'Mara, and he came from the seminary and he knew how to skate. Uh, he skated a lot with us, and he really taught us a lot of us how to skate and how to play hockey. Player. So where the parking lot is just west of the school, we put up we the dads. Uh, my dad, Ed Faster, Thralls did it. Um, there were a whole bunch of, of dads at that point, and I'm missing a bunch of them. Uh, they got together and they put up a hockey rink. Which well, I was old. always interested in hockey, and maybe because I liked to play hockey. We were still playing hockey even after our dean, where a bunch of us would get off together on our day off and, and play. Uh, try to find a hockey rink somewhere, and you know, most of them were outdoor hockey rinks. Now they're all indoor hockey rinks. Really. You know, two or, I was here two or three years, and uh, the convent was already there. So uh, there was that vacant lot across the street. And just in, in getting to know a lot of different people, and a lot of people around here had some significant uh, uh, jobs. And, and now I, I, the problem is I, I forget half the names of all the people, but people who, you know, there was one guy who really got the, we said, well, why don't we make this a skating rink? And, you know, we could flood it and so forth. And then somebody else said, well, why don't we see if we get some boards? And we had this raw wood. It was raw. It was just cut. You know, it was came right from the lumber yard or from the wherever they do that. You know, it smelled and everything else. And we, we, we 
Father Hills first goes on vacation in January. He takes the whole January off, so it all happened in January. That's what associates do. They do a lot of things when the pastors go. So we, 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 we brought the wood in, in, the, in the hall back there, cut it, and, 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 and put them in sections together and then dragged them out there. Scratched the floor. The church smelled for about a month of, of this, this raw wood. Uh, so when Father Hills came back, he, the first thing, he, you know, he, he could smell this. But anyway, we got this. It was a pretty good sized rink. And then somebody else who owned, who had a big job with Shell gas stations, uh, there was, you know, every once in a while a Shell gas station changes their light poles and he got the light. It was lit. We had lights and everything else. It, 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 it was, it was really, it, it was amazing how many people went together to do this. In Jan so it was in January, I remember very vividly, it was an afternoon, it was going to be like zero that night. The fire department agreed to come over and flood it. They flooded the whole thing, like in the middle of the afternoon. And I get this call about five o'clock from Sister Maxine at the school. She says, Father, the water that they put in that hockey rink is now in the street on Douglas Avenue. It found a way, you know, it was not... So rather than having a hockey rink, we had a street, and they had to close the street in the fire department. It, it was a mess. Fortunately, Father Hills wasn't here yet. But, but anyway, we got it packed down and asphalt underneath there uh, by the boards and everything, and we had this hockey rink. And the kids would, would volunteer to shovel it off uh, in the evening after we, we used it. Uh, but when it snowed, and they had a, one of the sections opened up, you had to get the get a plow in there and to plow it out. And, it was really a nice hockey rink. Now the girls were a little upset because they didn't they didn't use it very much. It was really a, for a hockey, you know. And it was right behind the uh, right behind that convent. Uh, and the chapel in the convent is this beautiful uh, stained glass window. I can't believe we haven't put that window out. But I think in those days we didn't lift the puck very much. The puck never really went outside that those boards. But but today it'd be flying right through that window. I think. So there's no nets or anything like that. So. It was, it was, a, it was, I think the day after I left, Father Hills must have got the bulldozer out and got rid of that thing. He was, he, he was, he was shocked when he came back, you know, because I never got any permission to do this and so on. He liked it ultimately, but, uh, you know, I think the, the fact that it was there and, and I'm trying to say we built this hockey rink. Yeah. So that, that was the story of the hockey rink, but it was a big, it was a big deal and, and uh, we really used it a lot.